Welcome back guys, welcome back to part two of our recirculating shower video. That's right, in our last video we did, um, well, we started working on our recirculating shower, so we showed you all the components we are using, and then we showed you how we installed our tank, our pump, accumulator, spin down filters, and filters under the van. So if you're looking for that portion of this build, uh, go take a look at that video first, and then come back so you can see how we finish it out. So the plan for today is plumbing under the van. We're going to run the water from under the van, inside the van, hook up our UV filter, finish all the remaining PEX lines on the inside of the van, and then hopefully try this thing out. I thought we were installing a periscope. So first thing we have to do underneath the van is to, this is our drain for our shower. We need to get from here using our PVC all the way to over here on our holding tank. Okay, so we have started to uh, put together the different parts that we got to complete the circuit under the van. We have spent hours. Hours. And hours. And a couple more hours, it feels like, in Home Depot and Lowe's looking at different plumbing parts and trying to figure out how we could complete it. So Jed showed you where our shower is coming through the floor of the van. This is actually going to connect to that. And then this is going to run over towards the tank. And then we're, we unfortunately don't have a straight line over to the tank to the inlet. So we are going to have to do a little, we made this little elbow. We're going to have to make this little elbow and then that will go straight over into the tank. So that's the plan. Hopefully it works. And I think we're ready to go under there and start putting it together. Just to show you that our PVC is now plumb from our shower all the way to our reservoir tank. Okay, so the next thing we are going to be working on now that we've finished our um, drain under the van is installing our UV filter. We are installing this inside the van. It's kind of sensitive to the elements and it's a pricey item, so it's not something we wanted to even think about putting underneath the van. So uh, I think we told you in our previous video that this is a 12 volt UV filter. We decided to go with the 12 volt UV filter because we're trying to keep pretty much everything in the van 12 volt as much as possible and we didn't want to have to deal with the running the 100, 120 volt outlet for this because it's not something that we had planned for from the beginning of our van build. A little more pricey but we think it's kind of worth the price you know just to not have to deal with the 120 volt. So we are actually going to be installing this in a little false bottom here that we have created in the back area of our garage. This false bottom area is going to be where we are able to run our water lines through, install this UV filter, and a few other little things. We have some wiring that we had to come up through the middle of the floor here, so we just put all that underneath here. So we're just trying to figure out the best location to place this. Um, and then we will figure out exactly where we are going to bring the water up from underneath the van as well. The most exciting thing about this entire UV filter is it came with brackets. I know, that's crazy, but we've had so much trouble finding brackets to mount things in this van that we are so excited when it, something actually comes with brackets. But anyway, so this thing will be mounted in these brackets. So according to the manual for this, there are two suggested mounting positions. The preferred mounting position is with the electrical connection up, so of course you can avoid hopefully getting any kind of water into the connections. The other potential connection is with these guys. These are the water inlet and outlet pointing up. We don't have room to do that in our false bottom here. It would stick up. So we are going to mount it this way with the water connections out to the side. The manual says do not mount it like this with the water connections down or with the electrical connection down. So we figure we're somewhere in between. <laughs> and another hole drilled into the bottom of the van. I'm beginning to think we should call her Swiss cheese. What do you think? Swissy, we can call her Swissy. That's a terrible name. <laughs> so we have our UV filter installed along with the power supply. Looks pretty solid. Okay, so now it's time to do a little bit more work underneath the van. Uh, we're going to be basically plumbing from the filters all the way through the floor and up into the van. We have come off our three-phase filters, have moved all the way where we have a barb to PEX fitting, switched over to half-inch PEX, 
all the way down there you can see where we have an elbow and it goes up through the floor so Sandy has done a beautiful job of running the packs all the way up through the floor it's a couple of shutoff valves to our mixer and up to the shower head itself all right so the only thing left to do is to test it out okay so we have two ways that we can fill up the the tank for the shower one is to simply just put water through the the drain of the shower and then the other is we can connect a hose to the tank itself underneath the van to fill it um, so we are just going to, for simplicity today, we're just dumping it in through the shower. We do suggest that you get something that's going to keep a lot of the bigger stuff from going down your drain to begin with. So keeping hair and stuff like that out of your tank and out of your system um, is good. So we have this like little tub shroom thing here that's supposed to collect. Tub shroom, y'all. I mean, all, all the hair. That is awesome. Because, you know, I like to shed. Tub shroom. Yeah, me, me not so much. All right, so time to dump some. This is our last pot that has to go in. We figure when we're in like Central and South America, whenever we take the fan down there, that this is probably gonna be the way we fill it anyway, because you can buy those five gallon things of water. Um, and we'll probably just end up buying one and dumping it in here, and that'll be just the easy way to fill our shower. Okay, so first we're gonna turn on our S-Bar heater, because of course we, we want hot water while we're showering. Let's see if it works. Shower pump on. Are we ready? Yep, let's do it. All right. Ooh, shower water. Pressure's actually pretty good. It's actually really good. Oh, wow. So our pump is three and a half gallons per minute. Yeah. Turn it over to the hot a little bit. Feel that. Wanna feel it? Oh wow, that's, re that's really nice. Hey, we have a shower now. And it's unlimited. We can shower forever. Forever and ever. No, I'm actually really, really happy the way the shower turned out. Yeah, we plenty of hot water. The S-Bar does a great job at heating it up. Um, we ran yeah. it for what, like 30 minutes? Yeah, probably 30 minutes straight, just so we can check for leaks and check and make sure everything looks good, um, which we had to tight, tighten up a few things for leaks, but overall it's working really well. Of course, only time will tell like in real life scenarios how it it um, works out overall for filtering the water and everything. Um, we did want to mention we've gotten several comments recently about um, the order that we placed our filters. We left the tank, went to the pump pre-filter, the pump, the accumulator, spin-down filter, and then through our other series of filters. We've gotten a few suggestions saying that we should probably put the spin-down um, before the pump, correct? Um, which makes sense. Which I mean... makes sense to keep some of that big stuff out. We've decided, um, but we've when we've done our research, we've seen it both ways. We've seen it the pump first and the spin down filter later and we've seen spin down filter and then the pump we are currently going to leave it as is because it's installed we're going to try it out um, if we notice any issues then we very well may reroute some of the tubing to put that spin down filter in front but for now we're going to leave it and um, we will definitely be doing an update video on this after we've used it for about three or four months to tell you kind of how the filters are looking and the maintenance and things like that all right, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Um, I'm really excited about this shower. It looks really awesome. But make sure if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button because we're not done building this thing yet. Not yet. <laughs> and close, close, close. But that is going to do it for this time, guys. And until next video, stay wonderful.
call it a day. 